Hey guys, this is SP737. Now, welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead down to Fred's Challenge Shack and see what today's challenge is going to be to get my breakfast because I am famished and ready for a tasty reward fish. We've got a lot of building to do today, so uh, that's going to set me up nicely, isn't it? So here we go to Fred's Challenge Shack. Good morning, Fred. Good morning, Sean. There we go. <laughs> they both just kind of came around at the same time. So uh, today's challenge is use arrows to fly really high with the elytra. Okay. Um, I do know how to do this. Let's have a see. And we've, he's given me a bow with punch two on it. And then arrows of swiftness. Yeah, arrows of swiftness definitely help with elytra. I'm going to have to go and get my elytra as well, actually. So, yeah, this trick is actually really hard, though. You kind of have to shoot yourself as you're flying. I think I think this is... I don't know if I'm even going to manage this, but I, I'm going to try at least. If you do shoot yourself, it's, it works well. But it's it's just getting that right that right point. Let's uh, let's go and grab that then. Okay, so uh, we'll go and put these, uh, these elytra on. There we go. We've got these on. So now... We'll go and fly. I need to find a high point that I can go from. I know just the place, actually. There is a uh, a tree which I can climb, a jungle tree just over here. So let's go for that. And look, I'm, I'm already flying. I'm already flying. <laughs> so yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh, and do, go over that. I could almost, like, if, if you did it perfectly, you could probably, like, go from a standstill. Like, if you just, like, wait, let's let's do it. Oh, I, I don't think I'm going to make it. There we go. And then shoot yourself. No, that didn't work. Okay, right. So let's let's just climb up here. A bit of height. This is either going to work really well or just not work at all. Um. I'm going for the latter one, to be honest. I don't feel too confident at all with this one. Okay, how am I actually going to get high here? I don't even know how high I can get on this tree. I can get about this high, I think. I think this may be the, the highest point. So let's just go uh, right up to here, and then let's drop on here. Okay, this should be high enough if I get it right. So here we go, and we fly in, and then can we shoot myself? No, take one did not go well. As you can see, the arrows kind of just went behind. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I only seem to fire out one arrow as well, which is probably a, a mistake. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to give it, I'll give it three tries, okay? I'll give it three tries and then I'll, uh, I'm giving up. <laughs> I can only try this so often and then so, so long and then uh, and try. I feel like as well, because my world's quite old and quite, uh, quite laggy now because it's so big. It is a little bit harder with that as well. It's easy to do it on a brand new, a newer world as well. Or definitely if it's on the, uh, the Xbox One, it would be easier as well. Uh, because arrows do have a bit of a delay, but we'll give it we'll give it another go. Okay, right here we go. So we'll look up and then we'll shoot and then we'll we'll try. Okay, still no luck. There we go. We did it that time. Did you see? We took damage and we got a little boost. Okay, right. Let's try it again. And okay, you kind of got to just shoot and then hope for the best. But I don't think we're going to be successful. Oh, there we go. We got another boost. We're keeping it going. We're just about. That had to happen there. We was like we were about to we're about to fail and then we just got the boost we needed. Can we do it one more time? Not quite, but that wasn't too bad. At least, you know, that's you get the point of how it works. And uh, if you can kind of just keep keep going indefinitely with it, you yeah, you, you, in theory, if you keep getting your shots right, you'll keep going forever. But not not me, of course. Of course, I wasn't quite good enough to do it. But that was that wasn't too bad. So uh, yeah, this is this is the thing with the tip arrows as well. Like it makes it easy. You could just do it with just normal arrows, but the fact that you use tip arrows, or even if you use potion uh, healing arrows as well, that would also help. The fact um, swiftness arrows just gives you that extra extra bit of boost, really. Extra speed, which makes the elytra faster. But anyway, let's let's time with that. Let's get on with the rest of the uh, the episode. So at least that's that. Yeah, that's a cool trick. I mean, I haven't really used the elytra as much as I would have liked. You know, um, can I like shoot myself and get going? Oh, that nearly, nearly. <laughs> it's just too delayed. But anyway, Fred, I, I did do it. I did it a little bit. Not maybe as well as you would hope, but I did it. Right, goodbye. I'll take my fish and I am gonna get on with. Uh, well, I'm gonna get a dog next. Okay, we're not gonna be joined by Cosmo today. Uh, he's uh, I think he's he's off traveling or looking around or all the stuff. We won't be disturb him or uh, whatever he's, he's up to. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's get into it. The dog randomizer has been reset, so could be any dog, and it's gonna be Dinnerbone. Dinnerbone gets two episodes in a row. Well, Dinnerbone. You can come with me then. There we go. <laughs> I do like Dinner Bone. He was, uh, he's one of my favourite dogs, that has to be said. Just because he's so funny. So, yeah. To, he's not, it'd be nice for him to get two episodes in a row. Because he was the last one to be picked uh, last time. And this time he's first to be picked. So, that's, uh, that's good for him. And here he comes. <laughs> Right, so today we are going to be building. I love having these electron actually. Look at this. Look at this. This speed. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but today we're going to be building a soup shop. All right, if I just like hold jump, I like. Wow. Okay, but so yeah, <laughs> I'm like mesmerized by these. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be building a soup shop, and uh, in the soup shop, uh, we'll be selling soup. So uh, yeah, I know in in uh, in Minecraft you can get beetroot soup, and then you can also get like mushroom stew, of course, and then I also probably get rabbit stew. But I don't, I won't be selling rabbit stew here because I don't have the heart to take out rabbits. Okay, it's just I can take out beetroots, but not rabbits. I just don't have the heart for it. So <laughs> we're going to be building it right here. Okay, uh, so I'm going to get straight into uh, straight into it. So we're going to go ahead and build this up here. It's going to be six high, so two, three four five six 
There we go. I'm taking these Electra off as well there. They're only going to get annoying. Was that actually six? I lost count here. One, two, three. It was six. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do it at the other side as well. Uh, so two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, we're going to get the... Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, I think so. I, <laughs> I just have no faith in my counting ability. But yeah, I think in this episode, we're going to get the whole outside done. Get all of that sorted. Then the next step, uh, the next, and we'll do a little bit of the inside, I think. But then next episode, we'll we'll really get the inside sorted and finished. And uh, we're also going to be making a little beetroot farm on the inside as well, okay? Because uh, I have got one one lot of beetroot seeds, okay? So I've got I've got one beetroot seed basically. Because uh, uh, yeah, when I when I went to the end city, I found it in a chest. Otherwise, I would not be able to get it in my world because my world was made after the update, so no villagers would have uh, would have beetroots for me. And um, yeah, actually, this is a little bit wrong. I was just trying to work this out, yeah. So that needs to be like that, and that needs to be like that, and then these need to be mined away. Okay, so that's that sorted. So we'll go ahead and just uh, patch up this, and we'll mine away at this as well. So now uh, there should be gaps of four on each side. There is, okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do the next bit, which is going to involve purple hardened clay. So uh, we'll go ahead and bring this uh, up along here. So it's just going to kind of uh, go around. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of going to go all the, all the way up to the roof. I, mm, well, no, because I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do, the, uh, we'll do the framework first, and then we'll fill in all the purple, okay? So, yeah, the, the, uh, the, there's going to be quartz right the way along here, uh, like this, and it's going to meet up at the other end. So, yeah, we'll do the framework, and then work on the, uh, the, the purple stained clay. I think that's going to be easiest, isn't it? So, it's quite a quartz-heavy build, but we've got lots of it. We've got a chest over there that has even more resources should we need it as well. So, we should be okay for this, I think. I'm, I'm feeling confident. Uh, so, we'll just go ahead and drop these in here as well there we go very nice uh we'll go and get rid of that okay so now uh, i'm going to go and count across five so one two three four five and then the sixth one we're going to bring this right the way down so these are just like the outside pillars and then we're going to count across six for this one so two three four five six and on the seventh one we'll go and bring this down like that perfect and then we'll go and count across another six so three four five six and we'll bring that down, and then that should meet you up nicely, and we can go ahead and uh, I'm going to put uh, purple stained clay in the sides here. Then underneath that is going to be a, a layer of quartz, and then there's going to be uh, just all purple stained clay under that, okay? So, uh, yeah, I think I think purple stained clay and quartz go well together, and then they fit the theme of it being like soup, you know? It does does kind of remind me of soup, does this? So, I think this will uh, this will be very nice indeed, and we're going to need to put some quartz in there. There we go. So, yeah, now all of this is going to be purple stained clay right the way around. So, we can just, yeah, go and fill that in uh, just like that. Oh, and we'll go and uh, just fill in this bit across here as well. So, uh, yeah, this is absolutely perfect. Oh, there's a little bit further I need to go. I didn't realize. I thought that was the last side. I did go wrong with one of the pieces, so I'll go and sort that out in a moment as well. So, yeah, just get that filled in nicely. It's quite a quick little uh, little job, isn't it? And, yeah, just this one that needs to go. You've got to go, my friend, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, now we can do the uh, the back as well. So, uh, again, this is uh, it's actually exactly the same. So, yeah, bring this across like this. In fact, this time I think I'm going to build up this pillar six as well. So, two, three, four, five, six. And then from here... I can enjoy my nice little reward fish as well. A well-earned reward fish. I had to shoot myself to get it. <laughs> it's quite crazy, isn't it? So uh, that's uh, that's that sorted. And uh, yeah, we'll bring this along like that. You never know. That, that stray place quartz block may actually be useful. I doubt it's in the right place, but it could be in the right place. <laughs> I'm being very optimistic saying that. Uh, so we're going to go across four. So one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, bring that down. There we go. How far? Where do I need to? go with this yeah so that's there and then this needs to be far along almost in the right place just out of place so i'm afraid then that's also out of place as you can see it's all going wrong now it's all out of place <laughs> right there we go that's all of that side and then we'll go and yeah fill in this along the top and we'll put that layer of quartz and this side is a lot quicker isn't it just because it's so much smaller uh, which is very handy isn't it so we'll go and uh, do that and then finally We'll put the uh, the purple stained clay in all of this and just, yeah, fill in this uh, this side. And, uh, and then we just got the uh, the other side to do and then the front and then the roof. And then that's that. That's that's pretty much what you do when you're uh, building a building, isn't it? You know, the walls, the roof, and then you sort it <laughs> <you> sort out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll go and bring this uh, this first layer of quartz right the way along. This is quite a quick, easy little job, actually. It's um like it's quite a big building. But it's quicker than I uh, I thought it was going to be as well. Uh, so I, uh, I keep placing stray blocks down. But I mean, they're not exactly hard to get rid of, are they? Uh, so there we go. That's uh, that's this all the way at this end. And then I think the edges was five. So three, four, five. And then bring that all the way down to the floor. And then this one was six. So three, four, five, six. And then bring that all the way to the floor. So yeah, that was also completely in the wrong place. You've got to go, I'm afraid. And then this, uh, this one was finally six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then bring that 
down all the way to the floor. Now, do I have any more quartz? I've got one more stack of quartz. I think that may be all I need at this point. Uh, so uh, we'll do that, at least for this, for the, for the wall anyway. For the roof, I'll probably end up needing quite a bit more. So we'll go and get all of that done. But yeah, the only quartz I need for this wall, uh, this, uh, wall here, yeah, is just to fill in uh, this beam right the way across like that, which is absolutely perfect. So now we'll just go and finish all the build off. Nice and easy. Okay, right, we'll just go and uh, put this layer in here. There we go. It's just starting to get dark, I can see as well. So I've got that in the back of my mind that I don't want to uh, to get caught out. <laughs> I mean, I've got Dinner Bone to, uh, to guard him. Look at him, he's standing guard. He knows it's getting dark as well. He knows what's going to be coming up. So he's been a, a nice watchful dog for me, which is helpful. <laughs> So we'll go and uh, yeah, just fill in this bottom layer. I mean, if I can be working on in on the inside, that's going to be good anyway, isn't it? Then I don't have to worry any at all, I, I, you know, for anything uh, coming up on me anyway, do I? Uh, so yeah, this is this bit done. Now what I want to do is I'm going to bring uh, this along like this. So this is going to be all uh, all purple. So there we go. And uh, I'm also going to have this filled in as well. In fact, let's leave a little bit for a doorway though. So we're going to have a doorway right down the middle there. Okay. Uh, so we'll just, yeah, fill in all this with the purple uh, stained clay. There we go. Nicely done. So that's going to be the doorway. And I also need to fill in all up here with uh, with purple stained clay. So probably just going to be easy if I just build it with some quartz. There we go. And do I have enough purple stained I have another stack. So I'll be able to do all of this. Uh, so yeah, this is all purple stained clay right the way across here like that. So uh, let's go with this. We'll do this bit. And then once this front bit is done, I think we'll go to bed. I think that's probably the smart thing to do, isn't it? Uh, so I'm going to be digging out here as well. I'm just going to be putting some windows in here, you know. I, I, I'm a big thing, you know, I think shops should always have windows in. That's a big, big believer in that. <laughs> Which kind of makes sense, I suppose, you know. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see what's, uh, what's in the shop. Uh, so there we go. That's that bit done. And uh, I'll go and get rid of this quartz tower as well. Not necessary. And uh, yeah, let me go and get myself the glass pane. So we'll put all of this in. Don't be a pain, please. <laughs> I have to make that joke at least once when I'm using glass panes, don't I? Uh, so yeah, we'll put that there. And then we'll put these along here. Perfect. So what I want to be doing in the morning is working on the inside, I think. No, the, I'll do the roof first and then the inside. That's probably going to be best, isn't it? So uh, let's go and see. Can we... Can we? I, I mean, I could go through the night. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted, but I'm going to... I'm going to stay strong and not going to do it. I'm going to go and stay in the horse hotel as well. I know it's it's a hotel for horses, but I have been known to stay there. Sometimes I can just lower my uh, my um, my standards a little bit and uh, sleep in a, a horse hotel. You know, it's still pretty nice, you know. I think it's a very nice place. And, uh, yeah, nobody... I mean, the horses don't really sleep on the bed that much, you know. it's so They've, they've been cleaned, you know. <laughs> I just slept in the same bed that a horse would sleep in. Oh, well. You can't get any lower, can you? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it's actually coming. I think it fits the theme of the dog park as well, just being a, a slightly different purple. I know this is blue stained clay, but that's purple to me. Uh, so, yeah, I think it, uh, it fits the theme very nicely indeed. So, let's get on with the roof now. So, the roof is kind of going to be, uh, I would say, probably the biggest bit. Oh, you're too early. Not your time yet, Creeper, I'm afraid. <laughs> I should be able to take it down without any trouble. There we go. That's uh, that's the Creeper dealt with. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, and jump up here. And get this uh, this roof done. Ooh, can we jump up? There we go. We can. Okay. So uh, yeah, what we're going to be doing for this roof is uh, I'm going to first do like a layer of of um, this purple stained clay around the outside. But then at points like this, I'm going to put a bit of quartz in. Okay. So you'll soon see how it how it looks. It might look a little bit strange now, but just wherever these beams, there's going to be a piece of quartz. Okay. So I will put one here as well. There we go. And uh, we'll just do this. Yeah, all the way around. The outside. I think it actually makes a pretty cool pattern. Once you see what I'm what I'm doing, you'll realise it does look actually quite uh, quite cool. So I will put that in there, and then we'll bring that along nice. And then I don't know if uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it on these on, on everywhere. Actually, otherwise it's gonna look a little bit strange. It's gonna look out of place, isn't it? Things like I'm putting a lot of like time into the roof, but it almost doesn't make too much sense because you very rarely see the roof. But you know, for those rare moments where the roof is seen, I want it to be. I want it to look its best. Okay, you know. <laughs> Not holding back at all. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and mine away at this uh, this uh, dirt tower and let's go and rebuild another one because I've got to get back up there again now. I don't know. What a nightmare. What a nightmare running out of stuff. Have I got enough dirt to make it? I have. Okay. Running out of dirt. Imagine that. Uh, so I think maybe somewhere along here, like, it's, uh, let me just count this because I don't, uh, so it's one, two, three, four there. So if we go one, two, three, four, and then just mine away this one, I think that's the right place. And then we also should do the same thing at this point. So I think maybe one, two, three, four. And then if this is all correct, then if I go, oh, I think this may be just slightly out, actually. Yeah, I think I want to move this along one. Um, so yeah, that's there. 
and then I don't know if this is actually right either. <laughs> so I think this should be a one, two, three there. And if we have a one, yeah. And then if I put that in there like that, okay, this, this, this works, I think. Uh, so we'll put that like that. And then we'll go one, two, we'll put that there. And then I just want it to be like symmetrical and kind of neat and everything. So if I put that like that, yeah, there we go. This is this bit nice and neat as well. And what we'll do is we'll go around. Okay, so just this final side here to do. And then the rest of it is going to be quartz. So it's not going to be like... Oh dear. Okay, I can probably do it a bit easier from down here, can't I? So, yeah, it's not going to be some um, super confusing pattern or anything like that. It's going to be quite a uh, straightforward bit down here. So, uh, we'll go and bring that like that. There we go. Perfect. So, now the rest is literally just going to be quartz all the way along uh, like this. Just all over the entire roof, which could be um, quite a time-consuming thing. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is put all the quartz in the roof. And then I'm also, I think, going to dig out the floor. In fact, let's, hold on. Let's, uh, let's just bring this, do this side here, okay? There's a few stray pieces. We'll get them in a second. What I'm going to go and do is, I think, um, I think I'm going to do this back wall as well. Whilst I'm here, let's just do this back wall. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this to be one, two, three, four, five. Yep, exactly like that. And then at this at this point of this partition, we're just going to build like a little um, a little bit across like this. Okay, and then uh, if I just go and bring quartz up there. Okay. And this looks, might look strange, but this is just so I can put some stuff on the roof. Uh, so I'm going to bring quartz like that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to, because this is going to be like the, so this, this, from the, on this side of the wall is going to be like the, the shop and the seating area. And then the other side of the wall is going to be, um, like where you get the, where you make the, all the soups and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, as, as you can, as, as I said, like all of this roof is going to be quartz like that. So yeah, just, you can see how it's working out. And if I just go ahead and I can bring this right the way across, let's just go and do the same thing on this side as well. So there we go. Uh, let's go and get rid of that stray piece of quartz as well. Perfect. So now what we can do is we can just put that like that. And then this should be able to come right the way along and meet up in the middle. There we go. That, that works. Okay. So we can fill those in with the uh, the purple stained clay. And then all of this is also going to get uh, filled in with purple stained clay. So let's just go and uh, fill that in like that. There we go. Nicely done. Okay, so I think even maybe an, even an extra one across maybe. Yeah, so uh, let's just go and do that. So that's one, two, three like that. And let's go and do the same here. So one, two, three. And then the fourth one right at the end there. Okay, and then I'm going to put some uh, some quartz in here. There we go, just make a little doorway. And then here I'm going to put a door, and this is going to lead into uh, into this room, which I think I can put, even put the floor as quartz. So we can even put those doors down right away also, can't we? So let's go and... Um Let's go and do that, and I'm going to go and put these doors in as well, because uh, I think the floor here is going to be quartz also, so I'll just put that down. There we go, perfect. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is uh, dig out all of this room, not the next room, because we're going to be working on this room in the next episode, and I'm also going to do the uh, the entire roof as well, and then uh, I'll be right back when all of that is done. And there we go, the roof is now completely done, so I think it's quite a nice pattern. I mean, if I was up high flying in a helicopter or something, you'd be able to see a better view of it, but... You know, you get the uh, you get the point. I'd say it looks. Uh, I think it looks good. So I'll just go ahead and go down here now. There we go. And it also done inside here. Now it looks like a real building site in here, doesn't it? So <laughs> we're gonna have to get on with doing this part of the um, the build. So uh, yeah, to start off with, I think I'm gonna do this pathway down the middle, uh, which is going to be uh, fairly easy to do. So it's gonna be just a bunch of quartz, and it's gonna. I'm not actually sure how far it's gonna go. Um, I can work it out if I do this this counter bit first, maybe. So. Basically, there's going to be a counter right here, okay? And this counter is going to be, I think, so... It's going to be all these quartz, like, here. And it's going to be three long at this point, okay? Is uh, where the counter's going to be. So the floor's going to be three long, okay? And then I can actually put dirt around here, because you're not going to be able to see this bit. Uh, so we might as well just use dirt and then save resources where we can, okay? And then on top of here, we're going to put purple hardened clay, like this, okay? So this is going to go all the way around. And we're going to grab a little bit more. Then on top of the purple hardened clay... I'm going to be putting on uh, some uh, some white carpet, so I'll go and do that. There we go, uh, just to uh, just to top it off nicely. There we go. <laughs> You're not going up there, I'm afraid. <laughs> so yeah, we'll put this all the way around like that, and I'm going to add some lighting in here as well, just probably in the form of torches. So we'll put one there. We'll put one there because it is it's quite dark at the moment. Is this place, isn't it? Uh, so we'll put that there. Uh, we'll put this here maybe, and then we'll maybe just put a, a couple on the front of the counter as well. So. Uh, yeah, we'll get that there. Okay, perfect. So that's that done. So then I know that this pathway goes as far as the counter, basically. And then that, that just gives me a good indication of how, how far I need to bring this pathway up. There we go. 
It's not just going to be a, a standard pathway. No, there's going to be a little bit more excitement to it, okay? So I'm going to grab my uh, my glowstone. I'm going to bring this down the outside. So we're going to just alternate this on and off down here, okay? Uh, just, you know, make it make it stand out a little bit. Just fit fit nicely with the... Uh, the, 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 the theme, so yeah, we'll bring this to there, and then what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to be using sandstone as the main floor, and I'm also going to need some glass, okay, so I'm going to be digging out uh, these bits down here, and just replacing those with sandstone, then on top, I'm going to be putting glass, so I will just go ahead and, and do that, I tell you, I'll dig out all the holes, then I'll put all the sandstone in, that's probably going to be the best option, isn't it, okay, so we'll just carry on all the way like that, there we go, very nice indeed, so yeah, once that's done, I will, uh, yeah, put the sandstone in, then there's going to be glass on top of that. And then it's just the rest of the floor needs doing a sandstone as well, which uh, should be pretty straightforward, shouldn't it? So uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Probably sideways is easiest. There we go, nicely done. And then, yeah, I'll go and put the glass on, and uh, yeah, that'll be uh, that. Okay, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. There we go, so we'll put this like, oh, okay. It had to go wrong, didn't it? If I use my silk touch pickaxe, so I'll be uh, I'll be safe, won't I? And, uh, now, it, now it's really going wrong, because now everything's in the wrong place. <laughs> Right, so that like that. Yes, that's all of that sorted. And then what we can do is we can put this like this. Okay, everything's working well. I kind of wish I had Cosmo to help me today. It would have uh, it would have been very helpful in putting down all this sandstone, wouldn't it? I could have just been like, right, I'll do this, Cosmo. You go and do the entire floor and the entire roof. You know, it would have been would have been easier. But ah well, he's he's busy, so I'll uh, I'll leave him to it. I'll slave away by myself. <laughs> so yeah, let's get all of this put in. There we go. Oh, and uh, we're gonna need some more smooth sandstone now. So yeah, that's and this will be this room more or less complete, except for a few little like decoration stuff that I'll be uh, I'll be adding in. I don't know if I'll add them in now or if I'll I'll add them in the next episode. It all depends how we're doing for time. Like I think we may have time just to do a little bit though. I suppose uh, I can maybe add the table and, and chairs in at, at the best. Hold on, is this is this definitely symmetrical as well? So there was yeah, that's definitely all okay. I just wanted to double check that I hadn't hadn't gone wrong at all because that would have been the most annoying thing, wouldn't it? If I'd if I'd gone wrong at any point. <laughs> So yeah, let's get all this, and then we can move into the final stack of sandstone, and uh, that should uh, get us there just perfectly, shouldn't it? So here we go, and uh, yeah, so there is going to be a place uh, where you can actually get yourself, get your own soup. I don't know, it's going to be here, I don't know if I'm going to do that right now, I'm going to just, I think, uh, do the uh, the tables, just because they're quite quick and easy to do. Uh, so uh, let's grab ourselves these stairs as well, and... Um, yeah, if we go, I go I go like that, and then we'll make a little four like this, and then we'll go and put, uh, can we put this in, and yep, yeah, that fits there, and that fits there, and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing opposite, and I'll do these, I think I'll do these stairs first, that was a bit easier, wasn't it? I'll put these on there, I'm just going to put some carpet on top of that, so these are just going to be my little tables, so if you want, you can sit in and eat your, eat your soup, or... You can take it away with you. It's, uh, it's up to you. So it's always nice to have the option, though, I think, in a shop. And I also put some nice little lighting in here. So just put a torch there. A torch there. And it does look like I forgot to take these bits out of the roof. Uh, so let's just go and grab any of them. Is there any more excess ones? I think we're okay now, actually. I think we've got all of it, haven't we? So, yeah, that's uh, that's all of this bit done. Um, and, yeah, there's going to be this bit on the side, which I can kind of just show you roughly how it's going to be, I suppose. Uh, I don't know if I'll, I'll I'll fully finish it, but maybe if we just put a bit of a a rough uh, a rough thing down. So uh, we're going to have this across like here. So it's going to be this is going to be five along. So there we go. And then we're going to bring this uh, underneath. And then we're going to just have uh, I'll do one of them. I tell you what, we'll just do one of them, and then we can do the other one in the the next episode. So I'm just going to bring this uh, around the back. And then what we're going to do in here is we're going to get some chests. So we're going to have a chest there, a chest there. And then right here, we're going to have a dispenser, okay? So this is going to be, you can either get your, your soup out of the, um, uh, so there's going to be one for beetroot, and then there's going to be one for uh, mushroom. And yeah, you can either get it out of the chest or press the button and it'll dispense it to you. But we haven't uh, got any in there yet. So uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be putting a sign there with uh, what it is on it, but I won't just type that out just yet. And then over the top of this, just to make it look a little bit nicer, uh, we're going to have some, uh, some stairs. There. So let's just go and put those right the way along like that there we go perfect and uh, we'll go and put this around the back can we can we do that yep we can as well okay so that's that's this uh completed on this little one and then there'll be one uh just there as well now we'll add some more more lighting as well because it's just a little bit dark up there isn't it but uh, yeah i think that's all we're gonna have time for in this episode i'm gonna have to pull myself away from the build and i just want to keep going really but i i'm afraid i can't so um uh, yeah, just put that there. I think I think that'll do for lighting for now. I mean, I'll probably change it around anyway. But uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like if you did. And also please do subscribe if you're new to the channel for daily videos of Minecraft. And uh, yeah, and I'll just quickly show you this room. Did I show you this room at all? Yeah, this is. I think I did slightly, didn't I? But yeah, this is the room we're going to be building in the next episode as well. So uh, yeah, as I said, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I will see you guys next time.